cup is made of an experimental material that can hold hot liquids without significantly increasing its own temperature. The 0 0.75 kilogram cup has an initial temperature of 36.5 degrees Celsius when it is submerged in 1.25 kilograms of water with an initial temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. What is the cup's specific heat capacity if the final temperature is 24.4 degrees Celsius? All right, so we need to first write down our givens. Our experimental cup, it has a mass of 0.75 kilograms. So the mass of the cup is equal to 0 0.75 kilograms. It has an initial temperature of 36.5 degrees Celsius. And I'll put initial temperature of the cup. It's submerged in water uh, with a mass of 1.25 kilograms. So the mass of water is equal to 1.25 kilograms with an initial temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. So the initial temperature of the water is equal to 20 degrees Celsius. What is the cup's specific heat capacity? So we're looking for C for the cup, specific heat capacity for the cup, if the final temperature is 24.4 degrees Celsius. Temperature final is equal to 24.4 degrees Celsius. Now, um, we always analyze this by the heat lost by something is equal to the heat gained by something else. Now, looking at the temperature changes, the cup starts out at 36.5 degrees, the final temperature is 24, so the cup is losing heat. The cup is the heat lost, so the water is gaining heat. All right, now that we know that, we can write the mass of the cup times the specific heat of the cup plus or minus the change in temperature is equal to, let me erase that, is equal to the mass of the water, specific heat of the water, times the change in temperature for the water. All right, so basically just mc delta t when I've got to put my plus minus here. Now, the mass of the cup is 0.75. The specific heat capacity for the cup we do not know. The change in temperature. Uh, the temperature for the cup is going to go from 36.5 to 24.4. And that's a difference, a change of 12.1. So that delta T is 12.1. The mass of the water is 1.25. Specific heat capacity for water is 4186. The change in temperature of the water goes from uh, 20 to 24. So it's going up. It's increasing in temperature. It's going to gain 4.4 degrees. That's the change. And we just have to solve for C. So specific heat capacity C is going to be equal to these three numbers multiplied together, and that's going to be 1.25 times 4186 times 4.4. That gives us 23023 divided by uh, 0.75 times 12.1. That gives us 9.075. And this is going to be 2536, 2536.9 joules per kilogram Celsius. And that's it.